I should bring the tell. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Too bad there's nobody my age here. Huh. But this is where people come to get old. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. I should bring the telescope back to Arden's stand before I forget. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, 
It changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always going to be a visitor. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. still misses Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. Yeah! Instead of snowmen, we can make sandcastles!
I should bring the tells. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Now that's some real patriots. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <laughs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So why stay? After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I 
saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. <laughs> Super Wolf to Professor D. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10-4. Okay. You're on it, Nano. Yes! Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's... that's it. That's... your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking Mom's trailer. It's outside! Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other party. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Hmm. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. You're warming up. Ooh, looks like something's buried here. Yes, I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Storm! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! 
Come on! Dance! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs>